once the quick edit program has been taught the positions and the time delays and the number of startup rejects, all the informational requirements to run the robot in automatic, prior to putting it into automatic, the program should be dry cycled. To dry cycle the quick edit program, the robot must be in the reference position to begin and the molding machine must be in manual with the mold open to its open position. To dry cycle the quick edit program on the lower left hand side once the robot has been put in the reference position the dry cycle uh, button will illuminate. Select the dry cycle button and at that time the override will default to 10%. So it will be dry cycling at a slower speed which is adjustable via the override by selecting the override button and moving it from the 10% up to a higher rate of speed if desired. Remember, while dry cycling, we are testing the positions, so the slower speed is recommended. Select the dry cycle button, and a question box will appear, and do we want to do position adjustment confirmation? To check this box, it will stop at each numerical position from the quick edit program above mold, take out position, reject position, place part position, and any positions that were added to the quick edit program from the selection process. By checking the box, we will stop at each position and we will have the choice to either continue from there or to adjust that position and edit it. You can also select that you want to prompt how to evaluate each input signal, meaning when we are in the mold to receive the part, do we want to evaluate the ejector signal? It will also evaluate the confirmation of vacuum and gripper of part held. If you do not want to evaluate it and you only want to check the positions, you would say do not evaluate each input signal. If you select also evaluate each input signal with the position adjustment confirmation, then it will automatically evaluate each mold signal, vacuum signal, at the time of the execution in the dry cycle. If you do not want position adjustment, but you do want to evaluate the mold signals and confirmation signals, you would select only that. If you only want to check positions, you would select position adjustment and do not evaluate each input signal. Once this selection process is created, select continue. The robot will move to the position with the override set as 10%. When it reaches the first position to be evaluated, you will have a dry cycle interrupt, which asks you select adjust, which is the lower key on the bottom, to change the position of parameter B, which is waiting above mold position, or select continue if no adjustment is needed. So to evaluate this position, the robot is moved to the above mold position. If an adjustment is needed, you select adjust. And the graphic image has the associated letter waiting above mold, B. You select that box, select the axes that needs adjustment, and this will allow you to adjust plus or minus 10 millimeter each adjustment time. So if you slide, select a slider and you move it to a position that is required for the adjustment and you select input with the green checkbox. The new position is inputted 
and you continue dry cycling, you'll notice that the robot had dropped to a block stop pause mode. You select the dry cycle to continue and the robot will go to the next position and prompt you to answer once again. Select adjust to change parameter C this time, which is the takeout position, or select continue if no adjustment is needed. Visually looking at the robot in the mold, if the position is correct for receiving the part and no adjustment is needed, you can select continue. At this time, the robot will proceed to the next position and prompt you to also again select adjust to change parameter E, exit mold, or select continue if no adjustment is needed. Once again, if you select continue at this point and you were to continue dry cycling over a period of, of, of cycles, the positions that you select continue will not prompt you again. If you select adjust, the next time it goes to this same position, it will ask you one more time to clarify whether another adjustment is needed or continue if no adjustment further is needed. On this position, the parameter F, reject parts placing position. If there's an adjustment required, select adjust. Go to the parameter F in the graphics, which is the reject parts placing position. Adjust the axes or axes that are required for adjustment, and again, you can numerically input this, but you will be limited to 10 millimeters plus or minus for each adjustment. Input the change, select OK, and input via the green checkbox. Continue with the dry cycle. And the robot will continue back to its oval mold position since it rejected the one part. We adjusted this position previously, so it's asking one more time any further adjustment is required. If not, select continue. And the robot will continue to the next position, which has already been confirmed prior with a continue selection. So the robot will continue without asking for adjustment and move to the next taut position that hasn't been confirmed yet. The position at the placing location, it asks select to adjust the current parameter K part placing position. This is because we have the selection process in the quick new selection that says how many vacuums are holding the parts and do we want to place each vacuum release in a different location. So we would have multiple placing positions. In this program, we currently only have one. If I want to adjust that, I go to parameter K, select the axes that needs adjustment, move the axes within the plus or minus 10 millimeter and input it into the program. Select dry cycle to continue and the robot will continue on to the next item for confirmation, clear above parts. If this position is correct and you visually confirm it, you select continue, no adjustment is needed and the robot will continue its dry cycling at the 10%. If the positions are good and you want to see the cycle in process at a faster rate of speed, we can raise the dry cycle uh, override. And the robot will run at a greater rate of speed. Since I had stopped at the parameter K part placing Previously, with an adjustment, it once again asks, is this fine? If it is, we will select continue. No further adjustment is needed. If a further adjustment would be needed, we would be able to select adjust. We'll hit continue, 
and now the robot will continue in its dry cycling without any prompting for position adjustments since we have confirmed all of the positions. If we follow the program here, we can see that the robot is moving through its paces, releasing the part at the conveyor, going to the above mold positions that were taught, the takeout positions, waiting to seat the part, etc. Once the dry cycle has been proven out, we can go ahead and put the robot into the manual mode and prepare the press and the robot for going into the automatic uh, cycling.